All right. All right, I'm going to show you the concept of sterility. Um, first of all, you need to make sure that your table is at your belly button height. So you don't want to ever be bending over a sterile field. Uh, so it needs to be high enough that your arms are about at a 90 degree angle on top of here. When you're working with a sterile field, you wanna keep your elbows tucked in and your hands just barely out. So you're never reaching over a sterile field. You wanna keep your T-Rex arms right here next to you. We are going to wash our hands before we start anything. And open your sterile glove pack. Removing the inner package. I like to loosen it up a little bit. And open it flat. You're going to use these tabs to open your gloves. And so this one inch border is not sterile because I'm touching it with my fingers. So making sure to, I'm only touching the outside, I'm going to flatten out my sterile field. It helps to tent it a little bit, take your time. Don't rush through anything where you have to remain sterile. All right, now I have my gloves here ready for me. Before I put my gloves on, I need to make sure that everything that is currently not sterile is on my field so that I have my sterile supplies ready. I'm going to open this two by two, not on top of my field. So notice how I'm holding it toward the side. We're gonna open it making sure we're not touching the inside until it's pretty loose. And then about six inches above your field, you're going to drop it on, making sure that everything stays within this one inch border. Going to do a four by four as well. And you can do this with any supplies you might need. Anything that is packaged sterilely can be dropped onto a sterile field. If you have items that are a little larger, like an ABD pad, you can use its packaging as its own sterile field. Opening it carefully, not to touch the inside. And we can lay that right next to our field. If you will need sterile fluids, you have to open this bottle before you put your gloves on because you won't have two hands to open it. So I'm going to check my uh, fluid, make sure my expiration date is good. If my bottle has already been opened, someone should have labeled it with their initials, the time and date that it was opened, and these are only good for 24 hours. I'm going to twist this off and leave that with the open side up and over a trash can, I can twist it so that the fluid cleans off the top. That's called lipping the bottle. And then I'll place it to the side. Now it's time to put my sterile gloves on. Uh, I've placed my supplies on top of my right glove. So I'm going to start with the left glove. I'll grab the cuffed side and slide my fingers in, making sure that I'm only touching this part. At this point, I would like to take a step back so I'm not over my sterile field. And I'm just easing my hand in, 
and then I can pull that down so it's on my wrist. Don't worry about straightening it out because you don't want to touch anywhere close to where the sterile part is. Now that this hand is in my sterile glove, I can move this stuff and I'm going to put this hand inside this cuff and lift it up. Making sure I'm not standing over my field again. I'm pulling this thumb away. So I'm not holding it like this because then I'm risking rubbing my hand with my sterile thumb. So this thumb is flown away and I am easing my fingers hopefully into the correct position, but if not, we can fix that. So we pull it out and we let it go. We make sure that our hands are not going in there. So now I have my fingers in the wrong positions and I'm going to hold that taut and then I can straighten it out making sure not to touch below where my hand ends. And now I'm sterile. So if I need to use any supplies that are on here, I have those available. If I need to use my sterile saline, I'm then losing the sterility of this hand. So make sure that you are thinking about when in your procedure you are able to continue with just one sterile hand. And then to take these off, you can grab the end of that cuff and pull straight off. And then the second one, you wanna go underneath and pull that off and wash your hands. And that's it.